I'm Marina Adshade. I am an economist at the University of British Columbia and I specialize in the economics of sex and love. In the last year or so I've been writing on sex robots and how having access to that kind of technology is going to change the way that people have their relationships. I'm particularly interested in how sex robots changes marriage. Uh, but today we're talking about um, sex doll brothels. Um, the first thing to note is that these dolls are not robots, not in any sense of the word. Uh, so while if you go on the website for the, the brothel, they say that the dolls are chatty and energetic and love to take control. One of them is available for dinner dates. There's no conversation going on. And it's likely the dolls aren't even heated to body temperature. So they really are just large silicon dolls. Um, but you know they're interesting because they, the technology is coming where they will be robots that have way more functionality than we have now. Uh, that they, they perform way more of the functions that you could have if you were having an intimate relationship with another human being. I think that the, the sex doll brothels are appealing to people, um, particularly to people whose alternative is to buy sex on the traditional sex market uh, in the sense that they're probably safer, um, you're less likely to get a sexually transmitted disease. I think that for men who are worried that they're going to be arrested, um, the, the Canadian laws on prostitution actually very specifically say that prostitution is sex with a person. It doesn't say anything about sex with technology. So they're probably not in violation of those laws. And then the, the final thing is for anybody who's worried that women are being exploited, they don't have any of those concerns with a, a sex doll robot. I, I think that the whether or not this will take off really depends on the dolls themselves. The technology is pretty primitive at the moment, so I think that people will be a little bit disappointed. They're expensive. Uh, you know, the price, you know, $90 for half an hour, you're paying the same price as you would probably pay um, to be with a, a real live sex worker. Um, they're kind of marketing themselves more towards a market uh, where men don't want to be controlled, uh, they won't, don't want to have any limitations, but of course it's a doll. So there's limitations anyway, and they can perf perform many, many of the functions that a real life sex partner could perform. Um, they're completely unanimated. Um, and so then finally, you know, is, is this desirable? Is this safe? Do we think that we're going to have more of these? Yes, yes. Um, will the, the city restrict them? I would think that that's very likely that they'll try, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm not a lawyer, so I can't really speak to that. Um, I think that they do have a bit of an uphill uh, battle fight because I don't think that um, this is going to be popular, but um, we'll have to wait and see.